hope you're doing well. My name is Manvi and I'm a writer with Ishi. In six years of interviewing people and writing their stories, one of the things that I've learned in the process is that communication and psychology are very, very closely related. You can tell a lot about people by observing as they interact with one another. My interactions have specifically pushed me to understand human psychology that goes beyond the surface level. And I will be bringing some of these learnings to you on Ishi TV going forward. So a couple of weeks ago, I came across a pool of cognitive biases that are hardwired to a human brain. Now, what are these cognitive biases? These are patterns that influence our decision making process, our thinking, our judgment. Uh, one of this bias, one of the bias, one of the pattern that I'm going to talk about is called G.I. Joe fallacy. Now, to be honest, I only knew G.I. Joe as a cartoon character, but apparently it's a fascinating psychology term coined by Professor Laurie Santos, who's a professor of psychology at Yale, uh, for researchers who are studying cognitive sciences. Now, if you remember, uh, every cartoon episode used to end with the protagonist saying knowing is half the battle. But according to G.I. Joe fallacy, this is not true. Knowing, in fact, is a very, very tiny portion of how our brain is directed to act in a certain way or in shaping our behavior. For example, um, who does not know that smoking cigarette can cause cancer? Or who does not know that um, eating too much of junk can cause obesity? But does knowing any of that really alters our urge to smoke cigarette or consume junk? I don't think so. So, you know, in real world decision making, in even regulating our emotions, knowing something is not enough. Knowing something and then applying what you know and nudging your habits accordingly is the tough part and has a larger role to play. The funny thing about these biases or these fallacies is that despite knowing how they distort our thinking or how they um, cause error in judgment, we are still unable to apply them to bring a change in our behavior or in our habits unless we make a conscious effort. Also, a majority of the time, these biases are so subtle that we are not even able to identify them, let alone dealing with them effectively. So that brings me to a very important question. How should one outsmart these cognitive biases? Israeli psychologist and economist Daniel Kahneman suggests maybe you should start with questioning where they're coming from. Are you relying too much on your intuitions? Maybe that is leading you to focus on the wrong things. Um, are you being overconfident? Um, are you mentally, emotionally, physically drained? That's also a reason for um, subconscious behavioral patterns. Um, or are you, um, you know, responding from some suppressed older emotions um, and not reacting to the present situation at hand? You know, we never focus on these questions um, and that is why it becomes easier for errors to seep in, but maybe we should. He also suggests that you should, you know, if you're not thinking twice, maybe you should think twice because that leads to better assessment and you're able to take um, you know the right call if necessary if you're interested in psychology and behavioral science i strongly recommend you to read more about the subject and apply your key takeaways in day-to-day -day decision making to see how these biases act that's all from my side. Like and follow us on Ishi World and stay tuned for more psychology trivia with me on Ishi TV Mind Matters. Bye bye.